Hey guys, it's Tech Infusion. Today we will be unboxing the MacBook Pro Retina Display 13.3 inch early 2015 edition. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So let's go ahead and unbox the MacBook Pro 13.3 inches Retina Display early 2015 model. Now, uh, this is the 3.1 gigahertz i7 processor. That's the one I got. And it also does have the forced touch, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and get into the box here. So let's lift the lid off here to reveal the computer. And there it is. So what I'm going to do basically is take all the stuff out of the box on video and then I'm going to lay everything out and explain a little bit more about it as well. So let's go ahead and just pull the computer out and we can see it's a lot thinner than previous versions. They've definitely improved this product and we'll actually go to a size comparison with another earlier MacBook Pro model. But let's go ahead and set this off to the side here. Now what we have in the box is of course the pamphlet and the Apple stickers and the manual. We also have the charging box and the new Apple charger for the computer, which if I can show you, it's right, let's get out, right there. It has a little safety thingy on it. But yeah, that's the new thing. We'll go over that more details on that later. Let's set off this to the side. And then of course we have the extender for that plug. Now it looks like that's all we get in the box. And so now I'm just going to be right back after taking a short break and lay everything out so we can look at a nice angle of everything and I'm going to go over each thing more specifically. So I'll be right back. So a quick recap of what we got in the box. We got a quick start guide, a black screen cleaning cloth, two Apple stickers, and MacBook Pro info so you can learn more about your Mac and just see all the specs about it. Now of course we've got the computer itself which we'll single out later and actually look into more detail. Here we have the power cord which they've been making for years. It's just an extension of what we already have here, the charging box. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's basically what you get in the box. And we're actually going to single out on the laptop now and actually look at the details as well as compare it to an earlier 13.3 uh, inch uh, MacBook Pro. So I'll be right back. So here we are with the computer by itself. Um, let's just go over some of the external features and then we'll open it up and also do a size comparison. Um, so first we have a charging port for your charging plug two Thunderbolt ports, one USB port, a headphone jack, and two little microphones it looks like right here. On the back we have the familiar black hinge that we always get on every MacBook Pro. The front we have the familiar lip that uh, you can use to open the computer. And on this side we have an uh, SD card slot as well as an HDMI and a USB. So that's pretty cool. We have two USBs, one HDMI, two Thunderbolt ports, one SD card, what am I forgetting, a headphone jack, two micro, or two little microphones, um, and then the charging port. And then on the bottom, we have some uh, exhaustion holes right here for the uh, heat and exhaust to come out of, and then the familiar black uh, bottom pad to kind of keep the bottom free from scratches. So now let's go ahead and flip this over. And I'm actually going to pull in another computer, um, which is a mid-2012 to do as a size comparison to the early 2015, both the same screen size, it's just a different year model. So let's go ahead and look at the width and size comparison. So here we have the two Macs side by side. Here we have the early 2015 and the mid-2012, both 13-inch displays. And basically we're going to go over a little bit of the size and weight comparison of the specs. So of course here we have uh, early 2015, this is 0 0.71 inches tall. So like, yeah, I mean, that's pretty thin for a computer. And it actually did very much surprise me when I actually pulled this out because I'm used to using this model right here. When I pulled this out of the box, I was like, wow, this is thin. I mean, I'm, I know MacBook Airs are so much thinner, but you know, this is thin for me if you use this. And this one comes around 0 0.95, so just a little under an inch. Um, this one, we have 3.48 pounds. That's how much this one weighs. And this one weighs 4.5 pounds, which is a huge, huge uh, change. This one weighs 
over a pound less than this one. And when I also when pulling this one out of the box, I was like, wow, this thing is light. I felt like I was picking up a MacBook Air, but of course MacBook Airs are smaller and thinner. But let's go ahead and go over the inside and let's just open it up and just go over a couple of the new features that can come on this uh, model of the MacBook Pro. So we've just taken the plastic covering off the computer and let's go ahead and open it up. So here's the uh, protective sleeve. Let's move that aside. And so basically the only thing we have on the inside of the computer that has changed is maybe a little bit of the design with the hinge possibly. Of course the thinner, and I'm still trying to get over this, uh, the thinner uh, body. And then we also have the force touch which is a, which is a huge deal. And we're going to be expecting new features to come out and uh, that will actually integrate this force touch feature. But that's pretty cool. Um, other than that, we don't have anything uh, that great on the inside. Of course, on internally on the inside of the computer, we have the upgraded processing chips as well as the extended battery and just tons of upgrade features on the inside of it. Um, otherwise, the design looks almost the same other than the thinner body and yeah, the force touch. So basically, we're going to go ahead and power on the computer and just take a look at it just for a little bit. And I'm, I'm actually kind of interested to see if it boots up with Yosemite. I would expect that it would, um, but I'm not exactly sure. I'm sure it would though, but I mean, well, let's go ahead and see when we turn it on. Okay, so let's go ahead and power the computer on. And of course, I didn't forget to mention this is the 720p HD FaceTime camera. And yeah, so let's go ahead and power it on. And uh, we're not gonna go through the setup, but I just wanna see it powered on for this video. And basically after that we power it on, that's all I have to say about this unboxing. So let's just see it powered on. There we go, there's a startup noise. And yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like and don't forget to comment, subscribe. Also go check out my Facebook and uh, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. Also, in terms of a review, I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing an actual review on this product. I may, but I may not, so keep an eye out for that one. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please remember Please to leave a like. For the main language. Press the return key. And thank you for interrupting me. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, just hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.